welcome to another episode of Police Cars. Today we have our third installment of Police Cars here on this channel. If you guys don't know, we do a series on this channel, Nick Off Duty, called Police Cars. And that's where we go around different police uh, stations, checking out the vehicles and the fleets all around Florida. Today we're at Fort Lauderdale Beach in the city of Fort Lauderdale. And we're looking for Officer Calvi. He told me to meet him here on the beach. I told him, you mean in the parking lot? He said, no, out on the beach. So I'm out here and I don't see. I mean, we got some beach volleyball over here. In the back, we got a little parasailer, palm trees. I don't know, he said, meet me out here. I have something special for you. He said he's got a monster of a vehicle, but I don't see him anywhere. Behold! Look at that. Oh, he's hopping the curb. What a monster. Wow. Get a load of that. Bobby Nick. Calvi, what's How up, you, man? man? How's everything? Good, How about yourself? Good. Good. Or, or Shane. I know you're Shane. Cool Call me Shane. Absolutely. Awesome stuff, my brother. Now, is, is this the monster we're going to be? This is the monster. You said you want the biggest and best. All so right. We got awesome stuff. Now, this. Hey, everything okay? Oh, Police good, man. Thank you. Oh. What do you guys got going on over here in Fort Lauderdale? We're doing Fort Lauderdale. We got to do another video with that. Is that cool? We'll get you one of those. Awesome stuff. You told me to meet you out on the beach, but you showed up in the parking lot. What gives, man? Glad you asked, man. Jump Good. in. Let me show you. All right. by meet me at the beach. Absolutely, man. Hey, was that a horse? <laughs> hey, it was a horse. It was Eli. You guys have a horse? Yep. A mounted part, unit? Part of our mounted unit. You know, uh. They're the number one requested thing in our police department. Sorry. The number one requested thing in your police department? All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Don't tell anybody. Over the Jeep? Uh, hopefully after this video, we'll change that. Outside, show us the outside? Yep, let's do it. All right. You gotta love this weather in December. It's beautiful, right? December, and it's like a bombing 85 degrees. It's a rough Outside. life here in December. Yeah, man. Well, you got, you got a rough beat. Driving up and down those beaches like that, man. Someone's gotta do it. In that Jeep. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the department. How many sworn? We have over 500 sworn officers here okay. in Florida. Um, how big is the jurisdiction? Jurisdiction runs from right where we're at here. This is our southern point. Yep. It goes all the way up to almost Commercial Boulevard by the pier. Then we go all the way west uh, to about 31st Avenue. All right. We're a pretty large department. We have pretty much every unit you can think of. Uh, we have the mounted unit, which you saw earlier. Um, I'm the community engagement team. We have the SWAT team. We have the Marine Patrol. Whatever you can think of, we pretty much got it. So, guys, Fort Lauderdale is about 30 miles north from Miami. Um, this is located in Broward County, and this is the largest city. This is the downtown area, pretty much, of Broward. Um, you guys have a downtown area, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Um, can we talk about the car? Let's talk about it. Go! Absolutely. Let's start with the bumper. Obviously, everything on this entire Jeep was set up completely custom. Um, the bumper itself is brand new. We have a new spinny built wench. If you look at the grill, it's completely changed. The hood's completely changed. Um, obviously, you see the police like the most important thing. You'll see more of those later. Walk around this way. Um, you know, we have a three inch suspension lift on the Jeep made by Fox. We have 37 inch tires. We have new fender flares. Before I even get too far ahead of myself, let me explain to you how the Fort Lauderdale got the Jeep. You know, probably this is my second Jeep that I've had. About three years ago, a company came to us and donated a Jeep to us for a year. Um, and the publicity and the PR we got out of it was amazing. And we ended up actually, that was called Sobe Jeeps, the company. Right. And we ended up going out and purchasing this Jeep. Once that lease was up, we ended up going out to uh, SoFlo Jeeps and we purchased this Jeep. Train Star Police Department. Okay. They did a great job with it. So, is there any special budget allocated for uh, the community outreach Jeeps like this? So, the community outreach, this Jeep actually was purchased using um, drug funds money. Basically, any kind of money that we confiscated from people gets put into a fund, and we use that money to purchase this Jeep. Cool. Well, so moving forward, obviously, we have some spotlights on the on the uh, 
mirrors here. All right, we got to take a look at those later. What kind of spotlights? These are rigid. All right. Spotlights. Look at them, they backlight red and blue, and then they have white, pure white lights coming out of them. Look down at the bottom, we have the Nerf bars. We have lights going underneath the Nerf bars. Obviously, if anyone tags us or anyone sees us, take pictures of us, tag us at FLPDG. Shout out, plug. Make sure you guys hashtag it if you're taking pictures to see him come to Fort Lauderdale. There it is, right there. We oh, and I see this right here. What is this? Oh, we're always hiring. You have FLPDJobs.com. Right there in front of application. There it is, guys. If you guys want to drive the Jeep when you're done with it, <laughs> there's, there's, there's only one, but there's there's always that slim chance. Right. It's a possibility. But there are other units that patrol this area on the beach. Yes, correct? sir. All Absolutely. Right. Cool. Uh, if you look over here, even the gas covers custom. It's got a thin blue line gas cover. They nice. can make them covers. Um, I, see, the I see the the blue handles all throughout. I see these blue handles, man. This thing's pretty sweet. Yep, yeah, all the inserts those are custom made for that. Awesome. You got the Fort Lauderdale police insignia on the side. To the back. To the back. Um, another custom bumper. The neat thing about this bumper is the wheel and bumper and tailgate are all in one. So I would one push the button, I can open and close the door. And that's, um, that's uh, what's the difference between that and a regular? Some other bumpers you have to actually move the tire out of the way first and then open the tailgate. It's uh, kind of a pain. This makes it nice and easy. Quicker and more efficient. Absolutely. Um, custom bumper, like I said, painted with white inserts on it. Mm -hmm. Look down there, we have dual exhaust. Uh, we have a trailer hitch and we also have more police lights down there. So in the, the Sunrise PD1, we did a tour of the vehicle. Did you see it? I did. Okay. People are asking about the engine under the hood. So what do we got under this hood? Under this hood, the V6, it's, it's completely stock. It's 285 horsepower. Um, at the end of the day, this is primarily for PR. Yep. It's not necessarily for pursuits. Okay. So, but it is four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Perfect. For that. Got anywhere we can go where we can show off these lights? Yes, sir. Awesome. I'll draw the windows down, you'll see. It's good though, good community engagement. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. All right, take it easy. Have a good year. Have a good year. Be safe. Where'd you bring us? I brought you down to downtown to the parking garage. It was okay. a little light outside. It was hard to see the lights up close and personal. Man, she is lighting up. Is it a he or a she? I'll call her her. It's a her. She is lighting up. Gorgeous. All right, Shane, so rundown. All right, so obviously, um, it's a slick top Jeep, so we don't have a big light bar on the back of the Jeep. Yeah. So we put as many lights as we can from the back, so we can illuminate everything. If you look around the big tire, there's three sets of lights there. On the back total, there's six sets of lights. And obviously on the side, um, we have a great view from the side view. If you look underneath the Jeep, it actually glows blue. Uh, we have lights on the whole bottom undercarriage. Uh, keep moving forward to the front. This is actually where uh, all the lights are at. You'd be very surprised. We uh, spared no expense. We wanted to make sure we were seen from, from everywhere. So if you take a look at it, um, it's definitely one of a kind. Yes. You know, the, the light bar on top uh, has, has two custom made light bars to go up there. Uh, the one on the dash or one on top of the hood. And, um, extremely bright. If you look back, the headlights actually glow blue. Nice uh, touch. Like yeah. almost like a transformer. Absolutely. Like you said, we want to put as many lights as we could up here so everyone can see us. I see that you have some lights here and there that are off. Oh, uh, there's definitely some more lights. Right. What, what do those do? Be fair, go step up front. Step up front? Okay, I feel like I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> do you see my ID too? <laughs> oh my god! I see the light! Woo! That is bright! All right. Where you at? <laughs> Can you see me? Wow, man, where'd you pick those lights up? Heaven? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> wow, those things are bright. Thank you. All right, now that my eyes are adjusting. <laughs> it's bright enough for you? Yeah, and I'm noticing now that you're, you're 
Jeep now has a different set going on. You got different modes? Yes, sir. These are actually what's called our cruise mode. Um, these run around on every single day. These are on all the time. So at nighttime, the kind of just glows red and blue like this. Sweet. Uh, this is one of the only cars out there that can actually use a, a blue halo LED light bulb. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Um, for non-police officers, not emergency vehicles, are they allowed to be having these blue and reds? Nothing blue and red for anybody other than law enforcement. So all you Jeep guys, I know it's a sweet <laughs> setup. Unless you're Shane from Fort Lauderdale PD or a police officer, a law enforcement officer, at least here in the state of Florida, you can't have uh, red and blue lights. You have red facing rear. Red facing rear, Correct. which is the tail lights. Correct. But no blues. Nothing blue ever. Nothing blue ever. All right. So I saw you go inside and turn on the takedown lights. You Absolutely. Got, you got the controller inside. The controller's up top above the rear view mirror. Come on, top. Can we check it out? Cool. All right, let's go. You know how I start every different section of the video, right? The B-roll. The B-roll, let's go. Needed? I got it. All right, let's go check out inside now. All right, look up top here. Um, the, the six six way button panel. It controls all the lights inside the Jeep, all the external stuff, other than the police. Um, so the light bars, the mirrors, um, mirrors, the, the mirror lights. Oh yes, the, that's the ones right. On the outside. It oh, also yeah. controls the red and blue lights that are underneath the rock lights. Oh. Um, that you see here. For the most part, the Jeep inside is a pretty standard Jeep. Obviously, it has a couple different modifications like that. It has, this is how we control our, our police sirens. This is all the, the sirens and lights for that. All right, and um, you got your one, two, three? Yes, Which, sir. Okay, so the one. The, the code one's for minimal lights. Mm -hmm. Code two would be all of our lights. Mm -hmm. Code three would be all lights and sirens. All right, so your standard one, two, three. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Um, for the seat covers, we have um, Molly seat covers, which are very typical of our police vests. They get all kinds of gear on it. Um, if you look in the back, you'll, you'll see a pouch back there, and it's got a, a controller for our winch in the front. Just a nice way to store stuff. Okay. Um, yes. If you look at a typical Jeep, obviously this isn't a, a standard vehicle. Um, these T-tops actually come off. If you notice, the uh, speakers are up in the roll bar up top here, and the reason for that is all the doors, all the top, everything does come off like a regular Jeep does. However, we usually don't do that, unfortunately, but it, it's available. You said usually don't do that. Usually. Usually. The keyword. <laughs> it's half a time or two. <laughs> okay. And the moment everybody's been waiting for, the junk in the trunk. Oh, yeah. It's empty. What? Empty. All right, can we check it out, though? Yeah, let's go check right, it out. Let's go. It's empty. Oh, my bag's back there. <laughs> Guys, that's just my, uh, that's just my gear bag. Disregard that. So empty for now. It's empty for now. We had a little surprise coming, and uh, we'll be revealing it soon. Can't tell us just a little bit? You get nothing. Nothing. It's coming soon, though. Hmm. You'll be one of the first to know. Yeah? Maybe. All right. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shane. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful city. Thank you. I'm loving it, man. Awesome stuff. I do appreciate you. The Nod Squad appreciates you. Good time, man. Taking your time. Um, and those other vehicles that we saw. Yes, sir. Follow-up videos? Absolutely. All right, uh, so we usually do at the end is a challenge coin giveaway. Okay. Now you said you didn't have any with you. I don't have any with me, but I'll get you some. But he's gonna get me some. I will. So when Shane uh, delivers the goods, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram channel, we'll be doing a giveaway, but the only way that you can win is if you're following their Instagram page and you're following my Instagram page, and you're subscribed to this channel here, Nick Off Duty. So stay tuned for that. I'll be announcing it on the Instagram page. And when I get the coins, I'll even announce it on YouTube to let you guys know that the contest is open. So do you know the sign off? I do know the sign off. All right, so hit me with it. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. My man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Shane, one more thing. Hit him with it. Yeah, that's why I'm here.